people don't even deal with the English. They don't even know English words. They don't know the origin. Because all English words is not all originated from English. Like the word Diablos. You know what Diablos means? Diablos means devil. That's a Latin. Word. You know what cosmos means? Cosmos is a Greek word. It means a world, but not just a world, but the whole world, but a system of things. And they never told you, and they never read the description of Jesus. So you always thought he was a white man? You never knew what color he was? Can we get that one? This is uh, what church you go to? Yeah, what church you go to? <laughs> Bro, they ain't even decent right, bruh. Yo, let me get this. This is, uh, bronze, man. This, is Revelation. Yeah, this is Revelations 1 and 13. It says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment, down to the foot. With a garment, down to the foot. And the girts, mm -hmm. and the girts about the paps with a golden girdle. Right. He had a golden girdle, my wife. He had a golden girdle. Just like that. His head, and his head and his hairs were white like wool. Yes, he had white and wool hair on his head and his face. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Mm -hmm. Because he drank a lot of wine. Yeah. So his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine grass. His feet. It's like unto fine grass. As if they burned in the So this is grass, like you kind of grass. You know, your voice, your pants. Some pants fell down. Yeah, that's what So he said, uh, as if it was burned in the furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color is it going to turn? If you burn something, what color is it turn? If you burn it. If you burn a piece of chicken, what color is it? Black. It's dark. If you burn anything, it's going to turn dark. It's going to turn black. If you burn chicken, you burn a hot dog, it turns black. If you turn brown, it turns black. It's already black. Now, um, the reason why his eyes was red is because he drank a lot of wine and we got that in scripture. This is, uh, uh, this Bro, that shit is nasty as hell. That's some Greeks, man. Fucking Romans. Like this, is Genesis, this is Genesis 49 and 12. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. So he said his eyes shall be red with wine. Yep. And his teeth shall be white with milk. So he had eyes red like because he drank a lot of wine. Drunk a lot. So this whole time you always thought that Jesus was a white man. You never knew the color. Now you just found something new in the Bible. Right. That's something that your pastor should have been taught you. You should have learned that when you were born. And his name ain't Jesus. It's another one. That's, that's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai. That's a double name. Every time you say that name Jesus, you're referring back to 666 or once you do the math. Wanna do the math? No. Why not? Well, okay. You don't have to. But understand that, okay, you deny the truth. Right. That's what you're denying the most high right now. That's what you're doing. <clears throat> you're trying to deny the you truth. something. So the same thing that you're trying to go and get, you just deny. And it, it didn't come out of my mouth, it came out of yours. So remember, you're going to be held accountable. Now, whether you repent of it or not, that's up to you. Hey, somebody read them. Repent. Somebody read them. Do it. Huh? So you will know the truth. But if you don't want to, that's upon you. Somebody read them Revelation so he can understand why he has to add it up. Okay. Revelations of uh, 13. Uh, this is Revelations 13, uh, verses 16 to 18. The meat is in 18. And he causes all, both small and rich. It's like, and he causes all, both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What is the mark of the beast? So, here is wisdom, that him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Now, we just, so the scriptures tell you you must count. Now, we just read the description of Christ. It wasn't that color, right? 
so the name must be wrong too. If the description is wrong, they must put a wrong name on it as well. So now do you want to do the math? Because the Bible said you have to do the math. That's what the Bible just said. You want to read it again? Me? You just read that out the Bible. You just said you believe in the Bible. Can let me get uh Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Give me John something thirty-eight, please. Now you know when the red, who, who when, when, the, when the scriptures is red, who's talking? Jesus, right? Okay. Uh, what's that? Seventeen. It says seven. Seven thirty-eight. Yeah, seven. Believeth on me, as the scriptures have as said. The scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Right. So out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. That's why we can go throughout the scriptures a lot because we doing the work in the spirit of the truth. But the, the meat on that was on me that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. Now the scriptures just also said we got to count the number of the beats. So now do you want to do the math? Well, yeah, Jesus just said you had to do math. So you're gonna do the math now? The Bible just told you to. I ain't tell you to do it, bro. You act like I'm telling you to do it. I'm not saying do it. The Most High told you to do it. If you gonna believe in the Most High or you're not. So which one, you gonna do it or no? You, you ain't gotta do it. But just know that if you say that name, you, you're referring to a devil. Every time you call upon that name, and I'm telling you now, so you pray to that name from now on. I'm telling you that that name refers to the devil. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Isaiah 30 and 9 says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Right, they don't want to hear the law of the Lord. Don't nobody around want to hear this Bible. Everybody want to reject it. You know? But say to the, to the seers, see not, and, and, and to not prophesy, and, and, and to the prophets, like, and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Right, speak unto us, keep going. Prophesy deceit. Right, prophesy deceit. Now, if I was trying to deceive you, I would have let you say that name. I could, I would continue to let you say the name Jesus. Done. I'm not gonna let you say that name no more because I know that it goes to a devil. That name is a devil. I just read you the image. You said you thought Jesus was white. I just read you the image. So what are you gonna believe? Are you gonna believe pictures or are you gonna believe the word of that's the limit that you need to go ahead and decide. Are you going to believe images, TV, movies, video games? Or are you going to believe the word of the most high? Which you clearly heard. You clearly broke the thing. That's the decision that you must make. You don't have to make it right now. Right? I'm not putting you on the spot to make the decision right now, right now, right now. No, you don't have to do it right now. But understand the truth. Now, you want more truth? You don't have to stand right here. Give you a, a YouTube page to help you get more truths if you want. You want more truth? This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. And that's talking about the Hebrew Israelites that come back into the knowledge of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. And 
they come back into the knowledge of who they truly are and they start doing the will of the most high in spirit and the truth. Right? All those brothers and sisters that prepare it, okay, go ahead. But the most high is seeing you and he's hearing you. everything that's coming out of your mouth and the things that's coming out that's on your mind. And he's judging you off of these things, but he's still giving you the time to repent. Now once martial law happens, ain't gonna be no more, more repentance. None. You're gonna be wishing that you had the name, and we're not I'm promising you we will not give it to you because all those that do it is gonna die in that time, and we know better. But the ones that don't know, they're gonna go ahead and say it if they know it. But the ones that know it, at that time we ain't saying it. We'll say it under our breath. We'll say it to our brethren, but we ain't saying it to no outsider. This is especially if you're of the two-third Israel. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 5 and 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge God. and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. So, you know, we went into, we don't need, we went into captivity because we, we, we lack the knowledge of the Most High. We lacked it then when we had them and we still lack it until this day. Yep, Most High said we was not, he said we was going to be blind until this day. Yep. To them nukes, did you see them ICBM missiles coming up the sky? Then you're going to wish you would have had this. Uh, the scripture says, blindness in part has happened to Israel to the fullest of the Gentiles that set in. Yeah. All right? That means we didn't wake up until they did enough wickedness. So the most likely sin that spirit to wake us up. And we're standing in the last days to give you guys the truth before it happens, before the most high brings his judgment. All those that don't want to listen, you don't have to. All those that's on YouTube that do listen, continue to listen. And not just to us personally, but listen to our elders, listen to our brothers, like we always state. All right? This is Isaiah 38 and 18. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Which means what? All those that's dead, they don't have the truth. If you die without the truth, that's it, you're dead. Judgment's going to be set on how you live your life now. You're not going to be able to come into the knowledge of the truth. You're dead. You're done. All right? So when we see somebody and ask an Israel, whether he be wicked or whether he not be wicked, and he passes over, okay, his, his, his thing is done. His life is done. Whatever. All right? I'm not, I'm not happy for it. Neither am I sad. That's your life. Yeah. It's better that he dead. I said it's better to be dead, man. True. So sure, that's the that the most I gave him mercy. Yep, because he could have kept him here and, and dragged it out. He could have just gave you a sickness, which was long suffering. He could have just gave you a sickness. Even I am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Thy first father has sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed, have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproach. Alright, you have you, we're cursed and we're reproached every single day. Alright? But if you don't want that, you come back into the remembrance of who you are. Your biblical names. And start doing the will of the Most High if you're an Israelite. If you're another nation, go ahead and do whatever you have you want. Unless you want repentance for the ill that you have done. Then you have to hearken unto what man of the most high. Alright? Yes. That's why it states, put me in remembrance, let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Right? And the only way we're justified is through the Most High's words. The Most High's telling you, you get my word, read it, understand it, and use it, uh, use it for yourself against me. Let's plead together. I know I'm wicked. I know I did you wrong. Tell me how wrong I did you. So I can tell you how wrong you did me, so we can get past this and we can grow as a family. That's the things that we have done. We continue to show ourselves every time we come out here. To show our light, to show our knowledge. But the world thinks that the most high knowledge is foolishness. And 
the Most High says that the world's knowledge is foolishness unto him. So you can't play both sides. You can't be of the world and still be of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. You have to take your mind out of this world and understand who you truly are.